Like church, it's like a show. <laughs> I'd like to say good afternoon. Good afternoon. You do better than that. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. Thankful to be here today. It's a blessing to be here. And for those of you who don't know, Katrina Jackson's theme is when God does it, he does it well. All right. And when he does it, he has a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And when he tells that story, no one fails. Why? Because when God does it, he does it well. My name is Derek Hayes, I'm glad, very, very glad to be here. And everyone should have a hand out by the seat. On the front is a little information about me. On the inside is my bio. And then to the right is the thing. When God does it, he does it well. And what I mentioned earlier about the story, we're going to go through these words, and each one of these words tells a story in each and every one of our lives. And when I go back to 2003, there I was. I had to find a new home. I had no job. I lived in the city of Atlanta. And I slept on my friend's floor for a whole year trying to find opportunities. And right beside me was the Bible and the dictionary. And I kept seeing this word woe. And to some, a woe was a trial or a tribulation. But God showed me that woe no longer meant that, but it meant a testimony and a triumph. And he showed me that through words I can change not only my life, but the lives of others. So instead of woe being a negative, God gave me light and showed me that it's a positive. So woe now means word of encouragement. So before you leave Fuji's today, or before you go to sleep at night, give someone a woe. Which means give them a word of encouragement. Mm -hmm. And when God started giving me these woes, I started to see things in words that I had never seen before in my life. <laughs> For example, what's the first word? On the inside sheet, the first word is when. The question is, when are you going to step out on faith? When are you going to try and do something that's never been done before? Inside the word when is what? The word he. To the left of the word he is what? It's W. That's for your wants. And to the right is the end. And that's for your needs. No matter what you want in life, no matter what you need in life, he. God is right there in the middle of your situation. The next word is God. G-O-D. God means get ordained direction. When you take the G off, it leaves you with O-D. Because when we step away from that guidance, when we step away from our goals, we O-D. We overdo it. We overdose on the negative instead of focusing on the positive or sticking with what got us here in the first place. The next word is does. Does everybody see the word does? In your mind or with the pen, cross out the E and the S. When you cross out the E and the S, what do you have? You have do. The E and the S stands for every struggle. The E and the S stands for those energy sappers. You know your job with people that all they want to do is sap your energy. Well, you cross those out because you want to put them inside a box. And then on the side of the E and the S, you put an O and an R. And so D-O-O-R stands for what? It stands for door. So when you put people and things that are not important to you in their proper place, God will continue to open doors for you. Remember that. Some things are not as important as they may seem. So sometimes you have to put them in their proper place. The next word is it. The next word is it. Right beside it, you put the word leg. So when you put leg in front of it, what do you have? Legend. Legit. Mm -hmm. Not only will God walk into your life, but it'll give you confidence. It'll give you <laughs> opportunity. And so when you walk in the room, people know that you're legit. Like I'm saying, you're too legit to what? Quit. Quit. Because a young lady, she has orders to go to another mission in another state. Give it up. Give it up for her. <laughs> and she's not only going to another city better. She's going to be the best. The next word is he. The next word is he. When you put the word art next to the word he, what do you have? Heart. Heart. So whatever you do, make sure your heart is in it. But no matter how high you go, no matter how low you go, make sure you put he first. And your art will follow. Your gift will shine. And it will make room for others. The next word is does. And he said when God does it, he does it well. 
Now the O, you take the O out. Because the O is for the others that will put unnecessary obstacles in your way. You know, they'll tell people that you can't make it. You know, people really think that you can't make it. So when you show up and make it, you know it's not just by your help. So with, with, with you, what's left is DES. Then you put the word tiny beside it, and what do you have? You have destiny. Because no matter who stands in your way, God has an ordained place for you. He's going to take you to places that your mind would never ever even go. The next word is it. In your mind or on paper, put the letters you in beside the word it. Why you in? Because if you look around you, you in great company. You in it. And this company right here forms a powerful unit. And then after the unit, you put the letter Y. Why? Because we said two or more come together as my name. We're gonna bring unity amongst the people. Like like Coyle T was saying, you and I T Y. It's a beautiful thing. Right. We're coming together. No one's getting cursed. No one's there fighting. Everyone sit down. We're gonna break bread. And the last word is well. So like my brother Anson, he preached a sermon. People in the congregation, they just gonna say well. But then you have the word we, like we like we spoke on unity. And then you have LL. When we LL, when we live life, when we love life, life will love us back. When we LL, when we lift the Lord, praises go up and blessings come down. My name is Derek Hayes, and I just came by the tank. And when God does it, He does it well. He does it so well that there's a story to tell. And when you tell this story, no one fails. Why? Because when God does it, He does it well. And I thank you. All right. Even though He went over His time, let's make some noise for Mr. Hey.